sunrise on flaming gorge welcome to don often on fishing today we're going to be basically fishing for kokanee hopefully uh, uh film a nice little jigging for kokanee uh show uh but just uh before i get started that with that i'm i'm throwing my glide bait uh over a little shallow flat uh to see if, if we can get into those big um lake trout to bite but this is going to be a kokanee video so i hope you enjoy it uh subscribe to the channel if you do and and there'll be a lot more videos coming well we just stopped at our first spot for kokanee i wanted you to see right there how right down now out there at the bottom there are a few fish and uh all we do is we drop down to them as best we can and if they're still there by the time we get down there then we just I just lift the rod tip up gently release it down on a on a uh, slack line and then uh, pull up again and sometimes if the fish are active they'll bite there's a one there's one there's a coke Let's see if I can get him up and in yep there's a good one nice kokanee first of the morning now you can see the school that, that that was in right there if you can look down there and see it on the finder There he is. Nice little kokanee salmon. Okay, we're dropping down to a school right there. You can see it, should be able to see it. My diagonal line is my bait going down to 35, 40 feet. We'll see what we can see if we can possibly get something active this early. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. You can see my jig there. I'm just bringing it up, putting it down. Now there's more, there's more fish in the area, so I'll pull it up just a little bit so I get just a, in the middle of the, of the top of the pack. You don't want to be on the very, very bottom with them being so high. Oh, I missed it. Missed a, missed a good bite. Well, that's the first first feel I've had today. Could have stripped my little maggots that I've got on, my little Berkeley maggots. That's a good sign. Fish are still, should be active. So I'll roll, roll up real quick and see if I see if they stripped my, nope, they didn't. He just hit it and, and, uh, and I missed the hook set, so that's pretty simple. Let me just show you really quickly while I've got the opportunity. This is what I'm fishing. This is this is called a Tasmanian Devil. I put two little Berkeley maggots on it. It's the quarter ounce version, and I really like it because in this particular um, bait, it's like a buzz bomb in the sense that when the fish hits, the hook the treble hook separates from the uh, body and uh, and I like that because these kokanee have soft mouths and and it's just really really great to to be able to have that hook separate so that the there's not a constant pounding um, uh, on the fish's mouth with the uh, like a cast master or even a draw or a buckshot or any of the other uh, type spoons that we use so this is a preference for me right now uh, in the in the early spring. So that's what I'm using. There 
we go. Boy, that baby really wants to come in. Wow, that's a wild fish. There we go. Nice. Nice coke. There we go. Boy, that was, he was active. That guy really wanted it bad. You know, these fish are, are coming in, as I can point out here to you, very, very small, small individuals. Individual schools, maybe five, six fish in a school. But they are willing to bite, so this is not a bad situation for us. And all I have to do is just keep, just keep taking that two foot, two and a half foot uh, jerk up, and then I just let it drift down to the bottom, and uh, and oft times that's when they hit, and and that's the reason you miss so many is that uh, is that they'll hit one on a on a slack line, and you don't really know you have one until you start to lift back up, and if you start to lift back up and it's just at the wrong time, there's no way you're going to set the hook on that fish, so. No question that it's a it's a, it's a it's a really fun bite to learn and and once you do it's kind of a kind of a great thing. Now the limit of of uh, kokanee per day is three fish. So once you reach that limit, you just kind of go fish for something else. But uh, oh, I have a a, a a great deal of fun um, learning to jig for these for these kokanee. I I I know a lot of people say well. Uh, Trolling is the is the only way to do it, but uh, but I beg to give, differ. I like to be more involved in the in the finding and the and the dropping down and and all that um, kind of thing, other than just sitting there. And I know a lot of people just like to enjoy a ice cold drink or something in the summer. And and uh, yeah, see, there's the there's that school two or three fish coming in. I'm just, you can see me, you can see my line jerking. I need to be a little tiny bit higher. My, my, uh, need to be a little bit higher in the column. I don't know if I can set the hook and, and show you this at the same time, but I'm gonna try to. Just, just pull up, let that go, baby go right back down to where the school is. And if they're, that school is excited and the fish get excited, you'll get a bite. There we go. It's another nice Coke. Oh boy, about lost him. It's all right. They sure like to take it. Well, uh, that does it for kokanee fishing today. Uh, <clears throat> got a nice limit of fish. Gonna hopefully show ya. So there's number one, number two, and number three right there. Um, all these fish came on that uh, nice little uh, Tasmanian Devil quarter ounce with a little uh, pink uh, Berkeley bait uh, maggot. Um, all told, a uh, great day today. Thanks for watching Don Alphen on fishing today. As as I just mentioned, this is the bait that caught him. It's kind of like a buzz bomb that it separates from the hook when the kokanee hit. And that's an important thing because uh, very rarely after I hook a fish do I lose it. Anyway, um, line today was uh, 10 pound uh, vicious monofilament and uh, 
throwing a Gary Dobbins um, Colt series rod, very, very inexpensive rod, but uh, works really, really well. And, uh, and then a quantum accurate reel. Hey, I appreciate you watching today. Uh, hope you enjoyed uh, learning a little bit about jigging for kokanee, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.